Hi, I'm Sean Sullivan, the Acting Deputy Secretary of the Strategic and Operations Group in the Department of the Environment. I'm here to talk about the corporate outcome in our, in our annual report. Much of our department's work in delivering our corporate outcome to, and, and to improve our organisational efficiency occurs behind the scenes. In 2014 and 15, we worked to improve that efficiency and effectiveness. We enhanced our government's arrangements to embed an outward looking and strategic focus across the department's SES through the delegation of decision making. In regulatory reform, we look to strengthen our organisational capacity and also look to cut uh, red tape. Part of this, we achieved $546 million in compliance cost savings under the APS reform agenda. We also implemented reforms under the Public Governance, Performance and Accountability Act, including publishing a corporate plan for 2015 to 19. With respect to risk management and fraud, we improve management of our projects and resources and risk by training staff, updating our tools and refining and reporting of risk to the senior executive management team. We've undertaken an independent assessment of our fraud risk and we're drawing on that in updating our fraud control plan this year. Under the Environment Protection and Conservation Act, we also have our own responsibilities to minimise our impacts on the environment. This year we continue to do that to monitor and improve our, our own environmental performance with respect to our own operations. We also improved our handling of campaign correspondence. We encouraged the community and improved accessibility by using more digital media, including the social media platform Citizen Space, for a number of our consultation exercises. Reconciliation is an important part of, of what we do in this department. We became a member of Supply Nation, which is a directory connecting corporate, government and not-for-profit organisations committed to Indigenous business development. Together with Supply Nation, we hosted the first Indigenous business trade show targeted at Commonwealth agencies. We also acted to meet our own target of 4.5% Indigenous employees by appointing, appointing an Indigenous development coordinator. We work to develop our staff. They're our greatest asset and aligned our workforce with optimal management structures. And this included better delegation of financial decisions downwards and increasing the span of control for middle management. I invite you to read more about our corporate outcome in the 2014-15 annual report.